Alright guys, today, I'm going to show you guys how to play positions. I might make a second one if this one pops off, you know. So, we're going to start with hitting. So, hitting is position 4 and position 2, which is like outside and right side. If like you're talking real terms. And basically, when you hit, you always want to have 15 power. And basically, you know, you just simple thing, you just jump and you just hit. And then if you want to hit deep, you don't press anything, you just like, you know, hit it. And then, if you want to hit short, like 10 foot, or like, a little outside of it, then you hold W when you're spiking. Also, there's something that's not very spoken about much, but it's hitting mids, which is where you press W last second, and the ball goes middle, and sometimes people cannot get that. But basically, when you're getting set, there's different ways to hit. So you could just like wait and spike, but then you're going to get blocked. So what you could do is you could stall, just wait, and then spike last second. Or you can like aim up where the blockers aren't, except, you know, sometimes it goes out like that. Um, You could do quick, so I can't really show you, but like as soon as the setter sets, you immediately jump at the ball. But you just like pre-jump in a certain direction and then nobody would be ready for it. Also, if um someone's setting and you spike it and you see a bunch of blockers you're about to get blocked, you could just faint it by putting it like six power, maybe like if it's like right in front of you, do one power to get it over the block. Or you can like cut it with like seven power. So also there's different types of shots, like Deep corners are really good. Also, sometimes kind of slept on is right back here behind the barrel, because basically, um, the barrel covers shorts right here. So this area back here, the people from here have to run and then like try to get that, because the barrel can't get it up here. Also, you can hit short line, deep line. Cross is not very effective, honestly. Sometimes you can hit right down in the middle near there. If you have a blocker right here, you can cut it like that. If there's a blocker right here, just line it. Also, you can do really deep cuts, like all the way to the other side if you don't hold W, but only do that at certain times. Okay, so uh, that's basically the main things, but like. You can also, like, sometimes you have to worry about if it's a bad set, like running off and covering because it's kind of slept on. You get a bad set, you have to realize and then just pass it. And you can also, if the ball's right on the net, you can do a block. It's kind of cheesy and nobody really likes it if you do it, but like, the ball will just fall through the block. Um, I think that's basically it. So, yeah, I'll make another one. Actually, no, 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 I'll go over setter too. So, setter. Basic volleyball knowledge, you get the second ball after the receive, and your teammates will usually tell you the power they want in chat, and you're going to set that R is back set, but when you set, you don't want to just go out and like, or you don't want to just stand here and then like set, because then they're going to get blocked since the people know what you're setting, so what you can do is just you spin around or something and then like do that, or you can like face one way, press set, and then look the other way. And also, you have to be really careful. You want to set straight if it's on the net. And then if it's a little off, you want to look at that antenna and aim there. Because if you don't, then your set's going to go over. And it's going to either get spiked right back at you. Or high chances you're going to set it out like that. If it's a faster set. Also, if your teammates want to stop, you have to do it. Because stop is huge. It will stop like that. And... I know it's kind of annoying, but you can like set your keys, have a like a middle number, like I mind X, so if I need to quickly get to like somewhere around 8, like 9, 10, 7, around there, I just press X. Um, also you can dump, but if you use this too much or make it obvious, you're going to get blocked like over and over. So if the ball is like, just get receive, and so around here, you run back and then quickly run and jump. If you, well, there's a high chance you will get blocked if the blockers know what they're doing. You can also, if the receives come, 
you can jump, hold S, and press R. And it basically, here, I'll show you what it does. It will go like that. So you can just, like, run, like, when you're about to set. Or you can go like this, and then just quickly go like that. And chances are you might mess some people up. But if someone's next to you, it's not going to work, because the j block is already going to be up. And also, you want to make sure you don't set the same person over and over, because people catch on, and you're going to get blocked. So, setters actually, there's a lot of thinking through it. And also, in real life, you would want to jump set, but in this game, don't do that if you're new. Alright, well, yeah, that's it for front row. So, if if this gets any, like, like some good views, then I'll make another one about back row, because back row is very disciplined. Alright, well, I'll see you guys later.